Hello, lovely viewers. Thank you so much for tuning in again in this Christmas Village episode. We are almost done. There's only one more speed build after this and then we are done. And it's gonna be Christmas, guys. It went so fast. Just these last few weeks went so fast. And we share so many amazing stories. But we're not done yet because I will really get back to the comments again as the last time um yeah i thank you guys so much again for being so involved in this, this whole series and and to share your stories and, and it's so amazing to read and it's so heartwarming to feel everyone um yeah just joins this this awesome christmas series christmas spirit vibe it's amazing guys thank you so much uh before i go um this video is mostly about uh the carousel the venetian carousel that i placed inside of a building and i try to have some kind of glassy feeling in front and i must say uh, next to the dome this is probably my favorite thing of the um christmas village because it's i just love it with all the lights and and it's really amazing so i really hope you guys like it too i didn't use the gems because i didn't have the gems while i was recording this and uh, i don't want to use them because you when you zoom out a lot you will notice like a weird texture so i don't really feel like doing it i know euthris i think it was euthris that made like um ice skating uh palace where you have like the gems as ice which looks super awesome when you are close but when you zoom out again it doesn't really look like how i want it to look so i just decided not to do that so that's why if you're wondering <laughs> Okay, so let's go to your amazing comments. It's awesome to read all your stories and, and let me just start and, and then we get to the end and it's gonna be awesome. Arno de Pau says, um, Christmas was almost ruined for me. My cat was drooling and smelling really bad from her mouth. And since her mother and brother had already died with the same symptoms, which turned out to be uh, to be due to tumors in their throats. I was really, really worried, especially when I heard that we were going to take her to the vet the following day and I expected to have at least a week left with her. Luckily, I turned it turned out to be just an infection. I know she's in pain, but it's way better than her being gone forever. The cat is really a big part of my life. While I was reading this yesterday, I was like crying so hard because I totally feel you like I said also in the last episode um that my, I, I lost two cats of kidney failure in two years and it's just terrible and and they both died also within a week so I totally feel that and and it's when, when you have cats and dogs you just really feel like they are a part of your family and you love them so so much and you just don't want to lose them and it's like the worst thing ever especially when you know these things can happen like when, when nothing ever happened to your cat or dog with and they just get old and they die because they are old it's still super terrible but like the first time when you have um you have a pet and and they become ill like terribly ill and you lose them in a week it's like unbearable you you can't it, it's it's too hard to describe like i cried for weeks and weeks and and you're always scared that things will happen again and yeah for me it happened two times so i had three cats in total that died of kidney disease and it's just terrible you never get used to that feeling you never you never want that to happen and and I, i'm just so happy for you arno that um it turned out as just an infection and then uh, even though she's in pain I'm, I'm pretty sure that she got treated with lots of medicine and then she will get back better and and I, i'm just keeping my fingers crossed for you that it will be and and that uh, your cat can be with you for a very long time and and she will get all with you and lots of praise for her thank you for sharing your story story arno um 
I got another comment of Nina Nuryam. I hope I pronounce that right. Nina. Oh my god, you mentioned my comment. Oh yeah, I did in the last one. <laughs> I really like your interaction with the community. There's really this feeling of connection. I totally feel that too. I bought Planet Coaster when it just came in early access and played it for quite a bit. Finding you and builders like you on YouTube gave me this feeling that I wanted to create awesome parks like that too. I feel like I've learned so many tricks and ways to use items that I would totally be able to do it. Uh, to do it too, especially hearing you say that everyone, everybody can do this. But right now I'm too over ambitious to even start building because I don't know where to start. Seeing these small theme parks uh, come together inspires me to go back in, to back in and just start small and see where it gets me. So thank you for the constant inspiration and keeping me interested in the game even when I've not played it in a long time. I will be sure to check in on your stream the third and celebrate your birthday with you p.s you butchered my gamer tag a bit but i totally forgive you since you're dutch and i is pronounced that way i'm dutch too so i know Nin ninja is an elvish name nerd <laughs> so i always pronounce it nyen nyen oh, you got the nerium part right though oh thank you for explaining <laughs> And you're not a nerd. We all play games, so we're all then kind of nerds, maybe. Okay, I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, I I totally feel that. Um, I got so many times that I was like, especially when you got DLCs, you're like, oh my gosh, what am I gonna build? What am I gonna do? And you have so many ideas, but you don't know where to start. And you're like in your park for like two hours, scrolling around like, oh, where do I start? Where do I start? I have that right now at, at Wonderland. So that's why I'm starting this uh, Forbidden Jungle um, small series. And it really helps. It really helps to, to know a little bit where to start again. But still, there are so many days when I just... I'm in Planko and I'm like, oh, what do I do? Where do I start? I don't know. And my advice for everyone that has that is, is in it watching YouTube series or uh, go into the um, go into the workshop and, and just look around and then then probably you get some new ideas where to start with and that's really nice. So whenever you feel uninspired, just go to YouTube, go to the workshop and and feel inspired again by other people's creations. I think that is the best advice I can give you. Thank you, Nyana, <laughs> Nerdjem. I don't know, Nyan. Oh, it's so hard. <laughs> Thank you for your comment. Silverbane2006 says, Thanks, lady. I don't have any Christmas spirit this year because I'm struggling with my health, work, and the fallout of losing people. But these videos and all the comments really help. I will be definitely tuning in to your birthday stream and celebrating your birthday with you in the new year. Keep up the good work. Sending you lots of love and hugs, Silverbane. I really hope you feel, uh, yeah, well, as you said, a little bit better of this series. But just know that you're not alone and there are many people around that um, feel sad right now. And, and getting a little bit more together with these kind of series, I, I just really hope it helps, like you say. And, and send you lots of love and hugs. And I will hope to see you in my birthday stream on the 3rd of January. That will be so awesome. Thank you, Silvervane. Um, got a comment from Mal Malrena. First, Merry Christmas and I love the park. We will not be going anywhere this year. My uncle was getting better from cancer. So we're going to try when the meds he was taking caused his brain to hemorrhage. After surgery, he's doing better and no longer on feeding tube and is starting to talk. If you could send good thoughts and prayers Mike Anderson's way, I would be that would be wonderful. Wonderful. I'm I'm stuttering a little bit by reading this. Thank you so much. Uh, the people here are so awesome. Mike Anderson, as she said, I wish you all love and and strength and and support and it's just the most terrible disease and and everyone in your family uh, hugs to you and and yeah much love that's, that's all i can say I'm, I'm having my prayers for you my fingers crossed and hopefully you will be better soon i got a comment from toady sweatnam 
I live in Florida and it's usually almost unbearable hot in the parks, especially in the summers. I'm jealous. It's always so cold in the Netherlands. Well, I just don't really like the cold. I just... I just want it to be warm and hot, like you say. So I'm just super jealous you live in Florida, but have fun with those uh, holidays and uh, good luck with the heat. <laughs> just know that people on the other side of the world don't have that much heat, you know, be, be thankful for the warmth. <laughs> um, I got one from Susie Ward, which is a little bit awkward, difficult. Um, I don't really understand it, but that's why I'm gonna say it. Lady, it sucks having your birthday during the Christmas season. Mine is on the 27th of December. That is in five days. Oh my gosh, hype. <laughs> and this year I will be the big... And then you say some kind of... I really don't know what it is. You, you put in some signs and I'm like, huh. And you're like, can you guess my age by that? And I'm like, no, I have no idea. If you can't, I will be the big 30. So what is like, is that the big 30? Like I am turning 30 or is that when you say that the big 30, is that like 39? I don't know. I feel pretty stupid by saying that, but I have just no idea how you say that. The big 30 as in 30 or like big in like the end of 30, but you don't want to pronounce it that. I don't know. Sorry. <laughs> Tell me. I'm so scared. Oh no. <laughs> Uh, love the videos. Keep them coming and hope your cat keeps healthy. Thank you. Um, but tell me, tell me really quick because the series is almost ending. How, how, what is your age? Is that 30 or 39? I want to know. <laughs> Susie, tell me. Okay, I got one from Dylan Greer. Polar Express is a Christmas movie I have to watch every year, even if it's the last thing I do at Christmas Day. I have no idea why, it just makes it feel like Christmas. Elf and the Grinch are also must-watch Christmas movies for me. I, I totally agree, the Grinch I should watch again. I love Jim Carrey, so I really love that. And, and have fun watching the Polar Express again. <laughs> Uh, we Abrahamson says, I have to say I love this series. Christmas has been very plain for me this year and your series puts me in a fun holiday mood. Thank you so much for your cheery personality. Thank you, Abraham. I'm so happy I could help you a little bit with getting into a Christmas spirit. So thank you for telling me and I really appreciate it and much love to you. <laughs> okay. So Lisa Fade, we got a question the last time with Lisa Fade, and um, wait, uh, Lisa Fade, um, she said that she, I love, it's on my hat, she said that she was going to watch movies at New Year's Eve, and I was like, what kind of movies? And I was just really curious, is that like Christmas movies or just normal movies? So here's her answer, Lisa Fade. <laughs> To answer your question, lady, is we watch whatever movie we want, whether it's comedy or an animated movie. Anything we watch is fine. Last year, fine. Last year we watched Pets and Zootopia. We laughed so hard at both. I have no clue what we'll watch this year. Normally, it's movies we got for Christmas, but this year I didn't watch any movies, so maybe we'll watch ones we have. Sometimes my dad goes on the computer and my brother and I play video games together or my mom and I watch anime, anime together. <laughs> oh well, so it's, it's really not especially a Christmas movie or anything like that. What I love to watch during Christmas is Shrek. Like all the movies of Shrek. Shrek is one of my most favorite animated movies. So if you like that too, I would recommend you watching that. <laughs> or of course the Santa Claus. <laughs> um, got David Spring fireworks in Switzerland during the summer that will probably be our national holiday on the 1st of August I actually grew up on a little mountain in Switzerland not in the Alps though and we have a view over big parts of the country for the national holiday celebrations which was amazing with all the fireworks and huge bonfires thank you for reminding me of that lovely childhood memories so cool you got the experience as that that as well 
Also, did I hear that right? Your boyfriend plays in a band. How cool. What instrument does he play and what kind of music? Uh, and I nearly made it through a comment without only talking about how awesome your videos are. Fantastic episode as always. But you know that by now. Haha. <laughs> I would, um, I so would visit this little fun village as well in real life. <laughs> Thank you, David. <laughs> I love you. You know that. Um, I will get back. There was someone else. Music for Life said, Whoop whoop, the lady designer mentioned my comment in her video. Yay! I didn't know your boyfriend is in a band. What kind of band is it? I really like how you interact with your community. So both of you, thank you so much for your comment. And let me tell you a little bit about my boyfriend's band. Um, he plays in a band um, which maybe some Dutch people uh, might know. It's called the Coronas. Uh, the Coronas. Well, you have a band in the UK as well that's called the Coronas or Scotland. So it's not the Coronas. It's really spelled in a Dutch way. But it's probably the same thing. Um, so um, they have a band with like six musicians and um, they have like a small little stage in the audience and uh, so you can call as the audience you can call from that little stage to the big stage and you can do requests so they have like a song list of like five, five to six thousand songs and yeah well the audience decides what you what they will play they also have like um a telephone application where you can do your requests with a picture and they will um come to your big screen and they will play it so it's really nice and a really interactive uh band and yeah it's just super awesome and uh, that is his work uh, it's jo his job and uh, well, musicians, it, being a musician is pretty hard. I think he's really lucky because uh, he has around seven to eight gigs a month. Sometimes it's more like 12 or 15, sometimes it's less, it's three or five, depending on the season and how the economy is doing. So yeah, it's, it's, um, it's a really nice job, but like not, uh, he's no millionaire musician or something like that. But he just, I just really love it that he can, um, um, he made his work out of his hobby. So that's really nice and, and he's really thankful that he can do that. So I'm super happy for him. And uh, what he does, he plays the guitar and he sings and he has, um, he also plays a little bit drums, piano and uh, I think that's it, bass, he can play a little bit bass, but mostly he plays uh, just electrical guitar and he sings a lot. So yeah, it's really fun and I really am super proud of him. So I will link some stuff in the description for those who are... Um, uh, interested to see some video clips that's super nice uh, but thank you for asking it's so nice to see you asking about my boyfriend <laughs> um we got one from goner 17 i have my 18th birthday on the 16th of february and i will have an awesome party i wish i could be on, uh, with you on your birthday and give you gifts and big hug by the way have you ever heard about energy lendia park in poland and what do you think about it the most beautiful wishes for you from me and all your polish friends well thank you polish friends <laughs> and go near 17 and to be honest i have never heard of energy landia park in polandia so i have no idea but make sure you come to my uh third uh third of january live stream uh to have some fun on my birthday gonna be nice hopefully <laughs> um nemo hops says what is your favorite thing you made well i don't know if you mean from this series or like in general like everything i made so far uh but if uh, as i said from this series that's totally this carousel um inside carousel and the uh, dome i've made not really the inside of the dome but i, I especially the outside of the dome i just really love how that turned out um Kania Knight says, speaking of Mambo, how's the little fella doing? Is he eating and drinking enough? Is he on any medication? If so, how's he handling them? But most importantly, is he happy? Yes, he is really happy. Yes, he is doing really good right now. Uh, he's still eating and drinking enough, even though I am 
as his cat mommy always worried every day about him like everything he does I'm like oh, is this gonna be the end because when you have a kidney disease you will never get cured you can only like ex expand the um, time they live and that is really like a terrible thing you know that it's gonna be over in within like a year or so hopefully longer but that is a little bit the expectation he got um, the diagnosed in January of this year so that means he already got almost one year and they said by then it was like maximum of two years but still depends on on the cat of course so you never you you never know and that is a little bit frightening but he got medication it's called Symmetra and uh, as I said it's, it's something that really helps the kidneys uh, to work a little bit better I think that's the right way to explain it so yeah I, I have no idea if that is the thing that keeps him going because there's not really that much research about it I, I guess uh, but yeah I, I, he is doing pretty well so I'm just keep giving him his medicine and, and keep watching how much he drinks what how much he eats and that's the only thing I can do right now um, so yeah thank you for asking like yeah, Mamo is my baby boy. The only one I have left, so I just really... He's so special for me. <sighs> okay, Charlie Torrenson. Uh, that is probably not one. There's a two in the other comments. I got Charlie Thorn Thornton. <laughs> Loving this series, so got it that it's going to be end and uh, going to end very soon. I wish you an incredible Christmas with your family, friends, and relatives, as well as having a wonderful and awesome new year. Can't wait to see your content for 2018. It's going to be awesome. Love you, lady. Wish you the best in the future, future year and over the Christmas week. Thank you, Charlie. I wish you all the same. Love you so much. Thank you so much. Nappy Dragons Productions said, I like beer, I like liquor, I like food. But most of all, I love my friends and family during this time of year. My mom makes a 7-up pound cake and sweet potato pies as me and my sis get to drinks and everybody come, come by my house, by the house to eat, drink and be merry. My father and my brother are watching over us as our Yulitide, I don't know if I pronounce that right, Yulitide spirits are raised. I'm not saddened on my family members who are gone from the world, Celeb celebrate their lives, carry their spirits on to the new year. Merry Christmas, the lady. Greatest wish for 2018. Thank you, Nappy Dragons. Thank you so much for sharing your story and sending you all love and strength and happiness with for you and your family and um, I wish you a greatest 2018 as well so that was the last comment for this one this video tomorrow will be the next video guys the last speed build video and there's just one more thing I want to ask you guys there's just not much time because I have to record it tomorrow as well so that will be in like 24 hours from now let me know what is like your most greatest wish for 2018 it could be for yourself and or it could be for someone else but what would be the greatest wish you have right now let me know in the comments and then we will discuss that for the last episode thank you guys so so much for everything you guys do and for all the warm and great spirits you gave you give in the series and i will see you guys in the next episode which will be tomorrow bye guys
Thank you.